Hi. First of all, I want to thank you for the opportunity for me to present here. We see, as McKinsey, four fundamental shifts which are impacting the PHI industry. One being the change in the customer demand, one being changes in the regulatory environment, one being that there are shifts in the risk that we see to be insured, and the other is that there is advancement in technology, being both data analytics on the one side and being at medical changes and innovation on the other side. Today I want to talk about these challenges, I want to talk about the opportunities in thriving in that changing world for PHI. But before coming to that, I want to quickly introduce myself. So my name is Tobias Schneider, as you've heard. I'm an associate partner from McKinsey from the Cologne office in Germany, and I'm a medical doctor by training. So I've studied in Munich, uh, the Technical University. I've also been in Hopkins to practice internal medicine and cardiology in Switzerland. I did a degree in epigenetics and stem cell research in Munich. And since joining McKinsey in 2012, I'm only working in the health insurance industry. Not only in Germany, but by now I would say I've seen almost all European countries. This is Poland, for sure. Then I've also worked in Austria, Switzerland, France, Portugal, Spain, Slovenia, Slovakia, and other markets. So I think I have a decent understanding of the different systems in different markets. I said that we have four major challenges in the market. However, I would say that there is a lot of opportunity out there. Health insurance is the one most promising line of business for the insurance. It's growing quicker than the other lines and it's more profitable in the same sense. On the other side, we see high unmet needs from customers. There is still a lot of unsatisfaction in the Polish market, which yet needs to be captured. We see that the health risks are changing, so the environment in which we are working is constantly changing, and we need to find solutions for that. One of those solutions can be the integrated care concepts, where we bring together both the provider, the payer, and the customer to capture the risk and to be more profitable in the end. Having said that, we also see that there are new entrants coming into the market. We've seen a lot of partnerships going on in healthcare. We've seen that there is acquisitions taking place. Today I want to talk about three key opportunities. And the first one is, that we say, as I just said, there is a lot of growth in the market. So if you compare it to other lines of business, PHI is actually the business to be. Still, the question is a bit, how do you capture this opportunity? To my impression, and McKinsey thinks that as well, that most of the executives are not valuing the opportunity right enough. So I think there is not that much dedication from the individuals to health. You need to realize that health is different than other lines of business. There's a different skill set. There are different capabilities required to be successful in health. It's not that you can just simply transfer the knowledge you have from other lines of business to health and be successful. So I think it really requires the dedication to make health successful. Looking at some numbers in Poland, you see that PHI is growing. However, there's still a large amount of out-of-pocket spending, and my conclusion quickly is that you've not yet found the right products to satisfy the customer needs in the market to that extent which would be potentially possible. If you look and compare the different markets when it comes to satisfaction, you see that Poland is not really ranked on the top in the European markets. I think that somehow may relate to the spending, and you can quickly come to the conclusion that you may increase spending, but there is also something around medical quality which seems missing in the market. And so I think for me, one of the key opportunities here in Poland is to really create these insurance products to satisfy the customer needs to address these needs in the market. If we select one single KPI, being at the waiting time for elective surgeries. Again, you have a comparison of different European markets for cataract surgery, for hip replacement and knee replacement. 
The numbers may be slightly outdated. However, I think the picture is still the same. Poland doesn't compare well. Recently at McKinsey, I had a client where we talked about waiting times in different systems. They said the NHS being the second best on that chart on the left isn't really the benchmark they are aiming for. Waiting for three to four months on an elective procedure is not what they are aiming for. They want to be better. They want to be three to four weeks. If you look, for example, to Spain, to the Iberian region, Portugal, where you wait roughly 100 days for different procedures. Agree, this is still a high unmet need. However, the PHI industry was able to significant find products to relieve that need, to flourish in that situation. So part of that waiting is already addressed by the private industry. Only recently in Finland, where the waiting time for the cataract is 103 days, you have the situation that the government issued a regulation saying 100 days is so bad for our situation that if we are in that situation, you are allowed to go to the private system and the public system pays for it. So there is movement going on. However, I would say, looking at these numbers, it's not a slight improve that you need in the market to satisfy customer needs. There's really a step change needed. So how could that step change look like? Looking at the kind of risk that is insured through PHI, we see that this step change is even more required than before. Here you see globally the different type of risks that are insured with PHI. You see the injuries, the clearly statistical risk what an insurance usually takes. You see the communicable diseases, which are infectious diseases, with a hundred years ago was the key for people to be sick. But now you have all these chronic diseases. It's a predictable risk by now. The likelihood that somebody, if he gets old enough, will either suffer of dementia, diabetes, or any cardiovascular disease is almost one. It's almost everybody gets this disease. It's not a question about ensuring this risk. It's more a question about how to better manage that risk. And that's what I said about the capabilities, about the skills in PHI, you need to have different sets of capabilities to manage that risk. It's not about being mathematically able to understand how likely this risk is. No, it's about predicting who is going to be the one who has diabetes and how can I best manage that risk. I asked the question, so how may we maybe potentially attack this risk? Looking at different markets, we've seen that there are efforts underway to manage the risk better, to be as an entire population more health efficient. And this is by sharing the risk among the different stakeholders. By now, most countries have the risk predominantly with the public governments. Slowly, they started shifting the risk to the private sector and the private sector is now shifting the risk to the providers and to the payers, yeah, sorry, to the, to the insureds. And on the right hand side, you see for the US, the uptake of different risk sharing models over time. You see that there is, for example, the episode of care based payment mechanisms, which directly links the reimbursement of a procedure to the overall quality. For me, the second opportunity to discuss is how can you be as an entire system more accountable in managing that risk and creating this higher efficiency for the system? Coming to the third point, McKinsey sees a lot of changes in the customer demand. And what you see here in the quite visual graph is the patient journey for a typical health situation. You start with the discovery that you have a situation. You start with the awareness. If you search a doctor, I mean, all of us basically have the same physician. We all go to Dr. Google. You find an appointment. You get a provision of health services. And if you really look at that, there's just one tiny angle where payment, the PHI, actually comes into play. 
And then there is all this care after the intensive care. What we see is that this typical model is eroding over time. There are new entrants coming. As I just pointed out, Google is one example. They are entering the health space. And the customer is changing the attitude they look at health. They are coined by the way they look at Amazon and other players, which are so efficient and all integrated in itself. They also expect that from health. They expect applications such as SockDoc, where they can just, within two or three clicks, make an appointment with the physician they want. They want to have an integrated solution, understanding what is the reimbursement going to be with each of these physicians. What is the quality? What did other customers say? That's what we see. Just being the classical PHI business model will not be sufficient anymore in these markets. Here is a list of different players. We at McKinsey look often at these players and discuss what is going on, what is happening there. We see tech companies are moving into health. They are starting to collect data on health, processing these data. It's again going to the risk sharing debate. But we also see, for example, Philips moving into the provider space. We see that, for example, Bayer or other pharma players, they are starting with innov innovative contracts for their medication. They start to take on risk of the payers. All of a sudden, the pharma starts taking risk. We see a lot of vertical integration of PHI. We see a lot of partnerships with providers to actually capture that benefit to be able to integrate the data of both the provider and the payer. In Finland, we just had a recent merger based on this discussion. It's not about operational synergies anymore. It's really about generating something bigger, generating something where there is a higher efficiency in the system. For me, this is the third key opportunity. How can you make sure that PHI really captures the opportunity along this entire customer journey? How can you generate a platform where new entrants, and they will come, how can these new entrants be attracted by the platform you have created? Quickly coming to the end of my presentation, we at McKinsey see these three opportunities that I just explained. One opportunity is around upgrading the current products you have in the market, really making them insurance products, really targeting the unmet needs of the customer, and to really come to the ownership of the customer relation. There's also a question going back to the, to the patient journey. Who is owning the customer in the future in the market? Is it the provider? Is it the payer? Are it new entrants? Is Google the one who's owning the customer in the future? The second key opportunity is about generating the value for the system. It's about this risk sharing. It's about really making sure that there is not these procedures done which may not be efficient from the system standpoint, but rather economically motivated. Being a physician myself, I know how physicians often think. <laughs> They're not as ethical as sometimes they may, may be seen. So sometimes it's more about the revenue generation. But how do we bring that together, providers and payers? And the third point is about making sure that you tap into the business models that will enable you to be the partner or to be the ecosystem that helps you flourishing in the future. Thanks a lot. <laughs>